the hybrid minivan and crossover from General Motors did not have time to collect all the fruits of its charm. Perhaps he will be able to catch up on the secondary. We find out if Orlando will hit the family budget. A roomy seven-seater front-wheel drive car with a versatile and well-equipped interior, crossover body, and passenger car habits. In 2011, when the car appeared on the Russian market, Orlando had all the cards in their hands. Except, perhaps, only aristocratic bloodlines. The Koreans worked on the car, and the platform was chosen as a simple, but at the same time successful cart of the then already popular Chevrolet Cruze, but with an increased wheelbase. Orlando was first imported from South Korea, and then it was assembled in Kaliningrad. Diversity under the hood of the car did not happen. We were offered a 1.8-liter 141-horsepower 2H0 gasoline engine. And a little later, one of the two turbo diesel models in the arsenal, a 163-horsepower 2.0, joined him. The latter is not often found on the secondary, its share is not more than 5%. Before GM left the Russian market, car with a diesel engine and an automatic was worth a lot. Even now, used diesel versions are 20 to 30 percent more expensive than gasoline ones. But the diesel was driving a lot of fun, which cannot be said about his gasoline colleague. Today, by the way, the lack of dynamics turned out to be the main claim of the owners to the gasoline engine. Overtaking heavy Orlando was given with difficulty. But the unit turned out to be surprisingly reliable and his only chronic illness can be considered a weak oil pressure sensor. Even on short runs, he used to give an SOS signal. This meant sensor failure and almost certainly oil leakage through the seals of this sensor. Hence the increasing risk of catching overheating. We could not find negative statistics on diesel engines. Only general points regarding the standard whims of the fuel system on fuel quality. Boxes, a 5-speed mechanics and a 6-speed automatic are also not listed among the penalty box. The automatic transmission attracts attention only with the hard shift from first to second, and sometimes even higher, gear. But this is not a breakdown, normal operation, they said in technical centers. According to the mechanics, by the way, there were failures on runs up to 100,000 kilometers, but they were not systemic. The clutch on the manual gearbox runs 100 to 120,000 kilometers. That's all the problems for today. Not bad. But on the small things Orlando scored points pretty lost. If there are minimum claims to metal and paintwork, then chrome-plated exterior trim parts began to bubble after the first winter. Also from the bodywork, the drain under the wipers is prone to blockages and does not pass water well, which is why dirt accumulates on the plastic shelf, which eventually penetrates under the hood. At the beginning of sales, defective side rear-view mirrors fell apart, those without an electric drive but the malfunction was completely eliminated by 2013. But with the lock of the fifth door, the owners of Orlando had a chance to suffer pretty much. Many have changed it several times. The problem is the weak sealing of the switch housing of the electric lock drive. One or two touchless car washes, and the lock jammed. Among the annoying small things, the outboard temperature sensor that falls out every now and then takes a special place. The detail is badly attached. By the way, in general, the salon turned out to be practical and attractive, but there were many questions for the assemblers from Aptona. Accuracy and meticulousness in the assembly was not enough. Crickets often look at the light, these are already common things. Plastic pads quickly scratch and lose their appearance. But the possibility of transforming the seats eventually atoned for all the problems. But the suspension of the Orlando, although according to many, is stiff, but strong. With a run of up to the first hundred thousand, Rarely anyone is engaged in repairs, unless, of course, we are talking about stabilizer struts or bushings. And one more feature, the suspension is noisy, which is also not listed among the faults. Summing up, we can state that Orlando is good. Little things do not spoil the overall impression. You won't have to invest in a family car for a long time. Overpaying for diesel does not seem like a good idea to us. So the best version can be considered gasoline with automatic transmission. Transmission. Cars with a gun are found on the market three times more often than with the mechanics. Claims to the hard switching of the automatic transmission from first to second gear, and sometimes to third, really exist. Reflashing the box control unit sometimes helps to correct the situation, but it happened that the valve body had to be changed. Oil change in the box, every 50,000 kilometers. Engine. The weak points of the gasoline engine are the thermostat which has to be changed along with the sensor, 
which is not cheap, every 100,000 kilometers, and the ignition coils. Replacing the latter will cost 5,000 rubles. The dealers eliminated the existing troubles with the fuel line under warranty, but you should not lose vigilance due to poor fastening of the fuel pipes. There were several cases of Orlando fires. Suspension. If you do not take into account the stabilizer struts and bushings, live no more than 40,000 kilometers, the suspension does not require investment up to 100,000 kilometers. The first on a run of 100 to 130,000 kilometers are ball bearings and wheel bearings. Racks go longer, but the front brakes became the weakness of the chassis here. For example, the resource of the front pads does not exceed 20 to 30,000 kilometers. It is better to replace the original pads with high quality analogs. Body and interior. There are no special complaints about glass, iron, and paintwork, but chrome finishes suffer very actively. The headlights of the head optics are prone to fogging, apparently, micro cracks appear in them. The protection of the engine compartment from dirt is weak, hence the problems with the electrics. Among the main problems of the cabin are sweating windows and weak heater operation. Crickets, as shortcomings, are not even considered here. Everyone has them. Electrician. The alternator bearing was unanimously recognized as a weak point, which will have to be changed after a run of 50,000 kilometers. Lambda probes do not live more than 120,000 kilometers. Once again, we kick the frail ignition coils. Many owners complain about the incorrect, and sometimes simply dangerous, operation of parking sensors. They honk at random, confusing drivers. The manufacturer, by the way, admitted the delay in the operation of these sensors.